I believe that God still speaks to believers today. I never have doubt about that. I always believe 100% that God speaks to believers today. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I believe you are living your best life in Christ Jesus. In today's tutorial, we'll be discussing on how does God speak to believers? There are ways that God speaks to believers. Let's jump into it speedily. Number one, God speaks to believers through still small voice. We can find that in the book of 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 11 to 13. God can speak to a believer. If you're a believer, you're a child of God, you are born again, whether you are a believer, I mean you are a believer, or a pastor, or a bishop, or prophet, or a teacher of the word of God. One of the ways that God can speak to you is by a small, still voice. God can speak to you all by a small voice. It's very important for you to know as a believer that God still speaks to us today. Number two, God speaks to a believer through an audible voice. First Samuel 3 verse 9. God speaks to believers through an audible voice. Now, these are two ways. Like Samuel in the Bible, God speaks to him through audible voice. When God was calling Samuel, he even called him by his name. Samuel! Samuel! I can imagine Samuel just talk. But he sees nobody. Samuel! Turn. He sees nobody. Only hear voice. So it's very possible that God can speak to a believer through audible voice. Other time, through small, still voice. God can still speak to a believer. This is true. But before I give you the the last point of mine, let me make a little bit emphasis on this one and two points I give to you. Like when a pastor or a bishop or a preacher of the gospel, a prophet, when they stand on their podium and they tell you, God says, God speak to me. I had it clear, I had it audible. Some will say, I had it small, still voice in my ear, that God speak to me and he say this. Now, no problem God speak to you as a servant of God, right? But anything God have says to you, it could be a declaration or a prophecy. You must make sure that that prophecy come to pass. Mm. Yes. You must make sure that that prophecy come to pass. Because if God is the one that speak to you audibly, or a small still voice, and you say to the people, God said this person will win this election. This person is the forthcoming president. He's, he will be the one to win the election. And when the election happened, the person that the found God said, God speak to him that this person will win, did not win the election. Now what happened? There's a promotion here. Somebody is lying here. You and I know that God is not a liar. So definitely, the prophet or the pastor is a liar. So we must very be we must very very careful. We should not be quick to say something. Don't say the Lord, if it's not God that is speaking to through us, right? It's very very important as children of God to make sure that we hear that. To be honest, that is God that is speaking to us, audibly or small still voice before we say what God is saying to the people because thank God now God is using many people in the church now they become like Barian Christian that when a pastor say God I heard from God audibly he said this they will go and check the scripture and see if what the pastor is saying is even in line with the word of God that is very good for Christians that are practicing this is very very important. This is how you even know a fake pastor because the Bible says on the last day we shall have a false prophet, they shall arose and they shall do false, false wonders, false hope. They'll give you false hope and nothing will happen. These are false prophet. Alright? My last point, number three point. God speak to believer. God speak to us through scriptures. Oh yes. 
through scriptures. Second Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17. God speaks to believers through what? Through scriptures. That's why when we preach the word of God to you, it's what we read from the Bible, what God has speak to us through the Bible that we share with our congregation. Because that's what the Lord has speak to us to share with you. These are the three ways that God speaks to a believer. Number one, through small, still voice. And number two, all they believe. And number three, through the scripture, especially the scriptures. When a pastor said, God speak to me, probably he may be referring to the scripture. But probably he may be referring to the scripture, but we have to check the words that is coming out from his mouth. Is it in line with the scripture? If it's not in line with the scripture, then that prophet or that pastor is a liar. There's no two ways about it. Don't be confused. God is God. Is God lying? No. God is a righteous God. Our God is a holy God. Our God is a just God. Our God cannot lie. He's not a liar. He has never lied before. He's not a man that he should lie. So, of course, these men, they are just lying to people. Say, God said to them, if God, God really did not send them. So, it's very important to pay attention if you have a pastor or a bishop or a prophet that always say God said to me uh, I had to an audible voice or a small still voice you can be able to weigh them it's not hard to weigh them if you're a Christian and you're a believer I tell you time has come in this era that we don't just come to church and just come to church like ignorant people we come to church as students of the Bible people that are conversant with the scriptures. When our pastor stand there to preach the word of God, if he doesn't know what he's saying, we know that he doesn't know what he's saying because what he's saying is not in line with the scripture. And that's how you know that you are growing in your Christian work and your Christian faith. I believe with this three point of mind, I've convinced you and not confused you. Thank you for all of you that continue to watch my videos. I'm so encouraged. Thank you for those that are engaging in the comment section. Thank you all for those that subscribe to me. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel before you exit this video, please subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.